I've got two boxes, one at the front, one at the back. The one at the back is a bike, the one at the front is a motor which includes the throttle, the controller, the motor, the wheel, everything else. So, I'm doing a cheap, as cheap as possible, e-bike build series. This is going to be a 1500 watt build, it will do 40 mile an hour. I've gone for the cheapest bike possible with brake discs because you need them, although the cable, it don't matter, and the cheapest wheel I could find. So, hopefully, at the end of this, two things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to be knowledgeable on how to build an e bike because I'm going to go into detail as much as I possibly can. And number two, somebody's going to have an e bike because at the end of it, I'm selling it purely to make some money because I need it because we all do. So there you go. And here goes. First thing I'm gonna do is build the bike, uh, minus the front wheel, I think. I don't need to put the pedals, I don't need to put anything on because all I'm concerned about is getting the motor on at the minute. So, I'm going to take it apart. Oh, I'm going to put it together. I'm not taking it apart. I am, well, I've got to dismantle it. But I'm going to put it together. Right, we're now at a stage where we can start fitting the motor when I get it out. Uh, these wheel nuts are 15 mil. <laughs> What's the only spanner I haven't got? So I've had to use the included high quality tool and nearly broke my hand in pieces. So that's done, the handlebars are on. I don't give a shit if the brakes work or the gears work or if anything works at the minute. These are ridiculously easy but time consuming you don't need to be an electrician you don't need to have any prior knowledge of this you basically work through as you go in very methodically and you'll get there if you don't want to build one or you want some decent quality parts i mean as you, as you know this is the cheapest possible thing i could get i could get with disc brakes if you want to buy uh, the kit you want to buy a different kit you want to buy all the parts all the all the the, the known good parts I'm going to leave a link in the description to Andy's uh, website cloudstow.com go to Andy's site um, have a look round 
because he does sell some um, decent quality stuff, not this cheap shit, uh, but it does cost a lot more. This is an absolute budget, it will get you on the road and it will get you doing 40 miles an hour. Don't know what range it will have yet because I don't know what, what batteries I'm going to be able to get into, into this triangle piece here. I'm going to be building my own battery, I'm going to be building um, absolutely every part of it, all the electronics obviously I've got to mount myself. So here we go. So in the kit you get obviously the all important 1500 watt controller, you get your gear cassette which has got to go on, uh, you get some tie cable what's it you know what I mean tidy stuff, um, you get some rim tape or rim whatever you call it, an inner tube, a tyre which is over there you get here a throttle you got a throttle, twist throttle with the matching other hand, the other side, the other hand, the left hand, so that's the right, that's the left uh, you get the power, sorry, you get the pedal assist sensor which I'm not even gonna fit I don't think, because I think it's going to be too much of a job and I don't need it anyway I don't know anybody who's actually fitted one apart from one person bollocks to I'm fitting it you don't need it anyway uh, you get brake levers which have got cut off uh, cut off switches so when you apply the brakes it cuts the motor power and you get a block connector which I'm not going to use because I can't bloody stand them all the wires are going to be soldered and of course you get the all important wheel um, these are the phase wires so you've got the phase wires there and you've got the hall sense wires there and that's literally all you need um, this doesn't come actually with any torque arm which I'm not too happy about but I reckon it'll be alright I was running 1500 watt on my original original bike and it was fine I, I ran it for I don't know about two or three months flat out everywhere I had no problems with it so the first thing to do is put the wheel on well because my daughter's moved in uh, I really can't find a damn thing at the minute because everything is completely up in the air so consequently I haven't been out these are torques bolts on the the hub so I've had to bodge some of it together to get them out and I've replaced them with proper bloody hex bolts. Now obviously when you put in the when you put in the disc on you've got to make sure it's on the right side. Sorry, you've got to make sure it turns the right way so you've got the rotation that way as the arrow depicts there. Now this goes on the opposite side to your derailleur sort of side so it's on this one it's on the far side so the direction obviously is going to be that way now what I'm going to do I'm going to loosely fit it and I'll take it off afterwards and I'll put the tyre on in fact no I'm going to put the tyre on now
when you're putting the wheel on, there's the wheel. When you're putting the wheel on, uh, you have to put there's a spacer washer which goes on the inner side, and then you've got your torque washer which goes on the outside. Now, what you may find is you have to splay it out slightly. It's only a bit, it won't hurt it. Believe me, I've done it a few times now, and it's never hurt it whatsoever. So now that's that's fitted and it's working. Obviously, these wires have got to be tidied up. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to turn it up the other way and I'm going to start work on wiring. First thing I'm going to do is take these bloody handlebar grips off. I can't believe they're blue. Oh dear. Mind you, some of the frames blue. It just matches the putridly. They. <laughs> anyway, I've got to put that on. Uh, this comes with a voltage meter, so I've got to put it on somehow. I can't remember how you get these things off easily. I think I'll just slice them. I ain't bothered because I don't need them again. And then that. Oh, that was close. That goes on. Literally, it goes over the bar, and then it bolts. There's just a grub screw there which holds it in place and then obviously I've got both sides to do. I, I'm, I've had enough of keeping bits, I, things like this, grips and stuff like that, I keep them with it, oh, maybe one day I'll need them. No, I'm not going to need them. I'm not going to need them again. Okay, who's put that bell on that way? I mean what's the bloody point of that? <laughs> Oh, it turns around. Well, I've, I've hit a slight problem. In fact, it's a major problem. <sighs> these won't fit. Well, they will fit. But because these new things are all integrated into the gear change and everything, and the handlebars, what's it, the brakes and everything, the only way I could do it is. Uh, take the gears off and I don't want to do that I want to keep this as close to sort of standard as possible what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the switch on the brakes it's just going to be that's it the reason being is I'm sure on the controllers when you take your hand off the throttle I think it's got regen which means that the motor braking will happen and I think, yeah, f I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs>